So that's world one over with. Now let's do world two. Okay, we're going to carry on and it's on a level called Winky's Walkway. So yeah, it's a very fast moving game. actually up here so I'm going to use him to get all my letters and one thing I do love and I'm actually doing it now is playing Donkey Kong Country on Friday night and that's kind of when I'm playing this now it's like well Friday evening yeah it used to be my favorite thing to do and that's kind of why I do Let's Plays to be honest I love playing games on a Friday night you guys have probably seen this you know you might be seeing this at night it depends on when I upload it but yeah just to let you know when I'm playing this and look at that. Now this is the coolest thing, one of the coolest things about the game is where you find three identical animal tokens, you turn into that animal buddy, and you get to collect mini tokens. And if you collect over 100 or more, you'll get extra lives. There we go, and there's also a multiplier as well, I think, which actually multiplies your total right here I always get it straight away because I it just seems that the more you collect the faster the time goes in this game so I literally keep running out of time go 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 oh come on move 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 there we are I think that the closest I've ever gotten here is about 600 I've never been able to get 700. I guess I'm just not quick enough on this game or I keep missing something. Oh, come on, let me get... Oh my god, almost got 500. Not too shabby. So yeah, if ever you see me and I'm on the next world and I don't have lives, it just means that I've just had a break and just started again. Because, you know, I love to do this as one massive friggin' video, one massive let's play, but these games really exhaust me um, they are very sort of taxing and very tiring for me you know I do get very tired easily these are my favorite types of games but when I'm having to search for everything I get literally exhausted I know my practice run I'm so tired and it's like oh I got to the very I think I did it in a couple of shots I didn't complete the whole game but I got to the last world and I did it in about four hours or something straight through and I was so tired Alright, little change of pace now with this level. It's called Minecart Carnage, and in this level, the Kongs are going to be riding a minecart and they have to survive basically and just get through this broken track, this Kremlins, and this is one of the coolest levels. And I do remember playing this as a kid and just like literally bricking it because I wasn't expecting it, this type of level. Even now, I still get a slight adrenaline rush with this level. It's not difficult, but I don't even get annoyed when I fail it, to be honest, because it just brings back waves of nostalgia for me. There we are, halfway point. See, look, you've got carts in the way blocking your path, and you've got to jump over them, otherwise you'll lose a hit point. And that's the key to this level. And also memorization as well. If you can memorize where all the enemies are, you'll be alright, and that was close. They come at you thick and fast to the Kremlins as well. Gee, there you go, got the common letters. Doing alright. Jump, 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 jump. Alright, jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump. There you go. And that's how you do it, basically. And I've done it first time. Not too shabby. Right, so that's Minecart Carnage done. Bouncy Bonanza now. So yeah, I suppose if you're a dedicated gamer, you could get through this pretty much in one night. But it's one of those games that I just like playing over and over again. It's fantastic. Right, okay. What's up there though? Oh, there's a tyre there. Oh, for God's sake. For some reason they put a tyre here. Let me just... There we are. It's just to get the K, basically, and the tyre's disappeared now. Oh, I've just messed up. Sorry, guys. I've just got to commit Sunnyside. 
because you see where that last lot of bananas are on the right hand side that's where I think the uh, bonus room is so I need to take care of everything and then use the barrel unless there's another barrel if there's another barrel that'll be alright but oh but the game won't let me do it just kills me off oh this is so frustrating I tell you I tell you what Right, I've got to not pick up the barrel. Because if you pick up the barrel and you mess up, the barrel disappears and doesn't come back, I think, unless you've been to a bonus room. I'm sure there's, like, another barrel. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, this is it. Oh, and I've just screwed it up. Well, I've got to do this again, then. It sucks that I've got to do this again. Oh, I just screw. I keep screwing up. Sorry, guys. I've just got to just do this again. This is ridiculous. I know the bonus room is there. I'm sure it is, but it's like you've got to angle it right or something. You've got to be like right on the money with it. Right, there is two barrels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out this guy's way. I'm going to take out the bee first so he doesn't get in my way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the barrel. Okay, is it not there? No, it's... Oh, I got it wrong. Apologies. <laughs> yeah, I. It, it was here. Oh, my God. Yeah, bad memory. I knew there was a bonus room, but I just had it... I was in the wrong freaking place, that's why. Okay, it's fine. Just get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. There we are. Oh, please. Fancy bees. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. We got there in the end. Lovely. And it's a banana, but one banana is better than nothing. Yeah, so it's probably going to happen to me throughout this Let's Play. I'm going to just forget where certain certain bonus rooms are. But as I said, I will try and find them all without help. But unfortunately, um, it's going to be impossible without, um, without an FAQ on the last world. But it should only be a couple of levels, though. Oh, for God's sake. I think one of the most frustrating things about this game is when you're trying to find the secrets and you just die over and over again trying to find them because you think it's in some obscure place. Oh. Yeah, it sucks that they don't actually have an energy bar. It's like one hit kills. You know, so you've got to do everything in that one hit basically and just not stuff up. Oh god. Oh, oh, come on. Absolutely ridiculous now. This isn't even that hard of a level. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with it. Okay, there we are. There we are. Oh. I jumped on the I jumped on the tire and the bee killed me. Why am I having so so many problems with this stupid level? It's really easy. It's not even that hard. And yet I'm struggling. What they need to do is they need to give me Diddy Kong like straight away. That would help. There he is. Good. There we are. Finally I'm off the starting blocks. Right, okay. Sorry, that took a lot longer than needed. Right, okay, here we go. Um, halfway point. There we go. Right. Now, I could go up there, but if we go down here, I think there's something I can get. I think Winky's down here or something. Oh, I'll just get lost. Stupid bees. There we go. It's like another bonus room. 
we go. Now we've got Winky. So he's going to make this level a lot more manageable. And some tough levels actually do have... Um, I can't get the words out. Actually do have animal buddies in to actually break up the action a little bit. Right, I'm a bit confused now because there's... Um, well, there's probably nothing down there, but you never know. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why, again, I'm struggling with this level. It's not that it's even a difficult level. It's actually quite simple. But I'm really having trouble with it. I just can't do it for whatever reason. It's just not not working for me today. Jump! No, I can't get up there, so... I have to rely on Winky, unfortunately. The only way. I make things ten times easier anyway. Oh God, this is horrible. Oh God. I mean, I was expecting a rough ride, but bloody hell, I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. I've forgotten how difficult this game is. It's not a game you can just go in and just walk all over. I think. Some of the platform is in, is some of the platforming is incredibly tough. So you need to kind of know what you're doing. There we are, jump over that thing. Alright, good. Oh for God's sake, why? Why is there a friggin' tire right at the end of the level? Oh okay. Stupid question really. Have I got to use it? Do I need it? No, I don't. There we are, some bananas there. Christ almighty, I spent too long on this level. But it's over now. Right, Banshee Bonanza done.